Okay guys, how's it going? Good afternoon from the Arkansas farm. Um, it's pretty hard to close the door when your hands are full. Those things to plant, it's exciting. So it is about four o'clock in the afternoon here. We have finally gotten another break in the weather and I have potatoes in my hand and we are headed out to plant potatoes. Um, it is a little late in this season. Uh, usually I would probably plant these in Arkansas in March, um, but you know, such is life. I'm putting them in now and that's all that matters. Uh, I have not grown potatoes in Arkansas, but I have grown them in Oregon, so I do know how to grow potatoes. Uh, potatoes are one of the, I would say, uh, kind of like introduction crops. They're a great introduction crop for if you're just starting out gardening or homesteading or growing your own food. Uh, potatoes are extremely forgiving, they're very vigorous, and they are the most fun out of all the crops to grow uh, because they are easy peasy and then you get to dig them up in the fall. Um, now here in Arkansas, it is my understanding of my research that I can grow two rounds. So I can grow a spring into um, early summer and then I can grow a summer into fall. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to try that or not this year. I'm just happy that I'm getting potatoes in at all. So um, now in Oregon we don't deal with any pest pressure um, with growing potatoes. So I know that there are some pests that you deal with here in Arkansas, um, but I, I believe that um, the grub worm is one. I'm not. I'm not positive, so I'm just. I'm gonna stop talking because I'm not positive. Uh, but I do know that there is some pest pressure for potatoes here in Arkansas if you leave them in too long. Um, so what they're gonna do is they're going to go to flower. And then once they go to flower, then the, the top of the plant starts dying back and they start really pushing energy into the tubers. And it's after they flower that your tubers really kind of start to bulk up. Uh, and a potato is a tuber, just in case you, you don't know that. Um, so uh, these potatoes, I have let them chit. And that just means that show you this ball of mess here. Funny. Um, look at that. <laughs> um, so these potatoes have started to sprout, obviously. They're starting to grow already. And that's okay. The main thing that you want to do with your potatoes when you, uh, before you plant them, is you just want to check for any rotten spots. It's okay if they're soft. It is okay if they have got these sprouts coming out of them. Now some people will take and cut these and for every sprout will be its own piece. I don't do that. Um, I have not done that in Oregon and I'm not going to do it this time here. I'm not saying that it's better or worse. I'm just saying that for me, it's easier um, just to go ahead and plant the whole potato, and I'm not trying to get a mass crop this year. I'm just trying to see how they're going to grow. So we have Yukon Golds, 
and the Yukon Golds are going to go here in the tub to the right of the driveway. And then we have Russet Norkata, and they are going to go in the big water trough to the left of the driveway. Now, I will show you what I'm planting these in and tell you what I did. <laughs> that is to the right of the driveway, and the potatoes are, are in there. Uh, sitting on top there, you can see them. These are like water troughs, like uh, cattle feed troughs or horse. We use them for horses, horse water troughs. Um, and they have, they've gotten holes in them over the years, and so I've just repurposed them. And what I have done is I have filled the bottom half up with leaves and um, lawn clippings and things that can decompose. And then I have filled the top of them with good dark garden soil. And then here's, here's the driveway, and here is the other trough that we're going to put the other potatoes in. So we'll have potatoes on each side of the driveway when we pull in, <coughs> and it's not my ideal place, uh, not because I don't think that they'll grow here. I do think that they'll grow. I think they'll be perfectly fine. They get all day sun, and I think that they'll be perfectly fine. Um, but it's because... I wanted to put flowers in here. Um, I wanted to grow pretty things, so I saw pretty things when I first came in the driveway. Um, but yeah, we're growing potatoes in them this year, so let's get started. Potatoes need to be spaced a foot apart, and so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to untangle these guys, and they need to be spaced a foot apart. I'm checking for any rotten spots. If I have any rotten potatoes, I will throw them away. Um, and I have a tendency to plant a little close sometimes, um, just because I'm used to growing in zone three, and I, I know that I'm going to have a bit of a learning curve there because things grow so readily here. Uh, but for the sake of putting all of the potatoes in one place and the sake that I don't have another good space right now to put them. I like to put potatoes in containers um, because uh, I like to put potatoes in containers because they're just easier to dig. And with working with this soil here in Arkansas, I do not want to put my potatoes in ground the first year until I get until I get the soil amended and easier to dig in. So these will not grow. They will not grow potatoes. Now they may grow uh, leaves and stems and you know maybe you might grow something. But here is why you do not want to utilize these. I'm just throwing them away. These are the little sprigs that have broken off. It's because when the potato grows your tubers, which are your potatoes that you're going to harvest in the fall, it uses the energy from this potato that you're planting in the spring to grow all of those tubers. So if you plant these little guys, there's no energy. There's nothing to grow your tubers with. So this is pointless. Um, now, if somebody can prove me wrong, please do. But as far as I know, these are pointless. Throw them away. And besides, I mean, it's not like I don't have enough of them. So, now these are planted. We're running, I'm going to say six inches to a foot apart in this entire tub. I was really hoping they weren't going to take up the entire tub and I was going to be able to plant flowers behind them, but um, I do notice, and you may notice, I already have an ant problem. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to bother my potatoes or not. I am going to research how to um, organically take care of them a little bit further. I do have DP, I do have DE, and I do have neem oil. But, the 
as far as I know, ants are like impossible to kill. Um, so if I find something, I might try it on them. They are actually on this post here. Uh, they're not they're not coming out of the garden. They're coming off of the post. So um, my first test to deal with. But anyway, so potatoes need to be planted four to six inches deep, and you want them the potato to be four to six inches down. Now it's okay if some of your little sprouts stick out from the top, but it's okay. I try to get them covered up, but if they're just way too long, that is okay. Yukon Golds are one of my favorite potatoes to eat. I love to use them in everything from broiling them to mashing them to uh, doing baked potatoes with them, putting them in potato salad. They are my favorite potato. Um, I do love some of <coughs> the heirloom potatoes that are out there. I've grown quite a few in Oregon. Um, but this is all part of kind of moving across the country and just doing what I can with what I got and these potatoes were bought at Tractor Supply. It's hard when you're moving across the country and when you're going back and forth like, I'm, like I am and when you're crazy enough to want to plant a garden like I am. Um, oh. One thing I wanted to point out before I bury the potato. So, when you're planting your potatoes, if you cut them, or even if you don't, a lot of times you've got eyes, which is what these little guys are, all the way around the potato, so it doesn't really matter. But if you only have, like this one's only got two little eyes, I am going to plant those eyes up. So these are not your roots. These are, this is your plant that is going to come out of the top of the ground. So plant your eyes up. Swap spots here. We are now on the left hand side of the driveway. And we are now moving on to plant the russet Norkata. N O R K O T A H. And you guys can, I don't know if you can or can't, you can. You can see the beautiful cleared garden plot on the other side of this trough. And that is very exciting. I'm hoping that by tomorrow it will be dry enough that I can get out there and start working in it.
I have to admit that I have become incredibly spoiled with my wonderful husband building me raised beds that now that I'm in a new home and trying to establish new garden beds and having to do in-ground gardening, um, I, I feel like I'm kind of a weenie and uh, I'm just so spoiled. I'm so spoiled of being able to just come out here and use my hands to make my whole nice fluffy soil um, and not having to use a, a shovel and a rake and a spade and a Ooh, yeah. All of you in-ground gardeners out there, I I would take my hat off if my hair wouldn't go everywhere. Hats off to you. Market gardeners, I mean this this is just a a whole new experience for me. I mean I've done some in-ground gardening in Oregon, but you know our soil there is so sandy that it's, it's not hard to dig in and here it's a completely different story um, which all the people from the south will laugh at me when I say that because they know and um, but it's okay I, I do have incredibly good soil here um, I'm extremely happy with how dark it is uh, and how established the life is in the soil here. Um, in this garden behind me, uh, I have really high hopes for it, and I've had a really hard time getting a hold of uh, compost that isn't bagged. And so I am not going to amend it with compost this year, uh, which I may regret, but the fact of the matter is, is that I just need to get it in the ground. Um, I'm starting to feel like I'm late, and I am late when it comes to like peppers and tomatoes and stuff. I didn't start them. I don't. I don't have the means to start them. And since this is an experimental year for me, I uh, am going to start them from seed in ground, and I may be successful, and it may just be a laughing stock. Uh, and I don't care. I just want to learn and I want to grow as a gardener. And for me, the best way to do that is to do what you can with what you got. And that's what I got. I got boatloads of seed and I got boatloads of land. So now I just have to um, get my body to put those two things together and grow food. So there's the potatoes, you guys. And I hope that that helps you. And I'm sorry that it's so noisy. We are in the front of the property and there is a road that runs right by. It's pretty close. So we are getting all of the lovely people coming home from work. It is now 5 o'clock. Um, but I, I do appreciate you watching. I hope that you learned something. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments. Uh, if you have any suggestions, put them down in the comments. And let me know what you think. I'm excited. I'm happy. I got potatoes in the ground. So that makes me really happy. And I got to bring you with me. So that also makes me happy because it's not raining. Uh, I'm sorry that I haven't brought you with me a lot. Uh, since I've been here, but it's it's just so hard to because I can't take you guys out in the rain because you're you'll melt. So the camera doesn't do well in the rain, so I had to wait. So I'm glad that I got to bring you with me, and uh, looking forward to showing you guys more of what's happening in the next couple days while I have good weather before the next storms roll in. So we will see you later. Yours truly.